uh, to uh, the small town of Enon Beaumont. Uh, this is where uh, Marine Le Pen was elected in 2017. Alison Sargent is in Enon Beaumont. Uh, how are things looking for the far right leader? Well, Mark, I'm at a community center on the outskirts of Enel Beaumont, a place that hosts, among other things, a local sewing club. Uh, the setup for Marine Speech later on tonight really looks like the setup for a, an outdoor a backyard wedding. Uh, it's a very local vibe, a very casual vibe, uh, emphasizing Marine Le Pen's uh, image of accessibility and proximity to her voters. Uh, they are starting to arrive. Uh, it's an elderly crowd, a lot of families. I spoke to a couple, a retired truck driver and an unemployed employed cook. Uh, they were pretty subdued. They know that the legislative elections don't tend to favor their party. They're unhappy uh, with the winner-takes-all voting system, but they are hoping uh, to see Marine Le Pen elected tonight, right off the bat, in the first round. Uh, they also hope to see the national rally finally get past that 15-seat threshold uh, to form a group at the National Assembly and, in their words, uh, finally have to be listened to. Alison Sargent, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll check with you later once the results are in. Some 1,000 kilometers away from that community center where Alison's reporting from is Alexander Alcott in the Riviera Resort of Saint-Tropez. It's another far-right candidate who's running TV pundit Eric Zemmour. Yeah, it's a hard job, but someone has to do it. I've been uh, braving the sweltering conditions here in southern France, and the heat is on quite a lot for Eric Zemmour, with some feeling that if he doesn't do well here, he's fighting for his uh, political survival in some ways, following the disappointment in the uh, presidential race. Uh, speaking to some of his supporters uh, just around the corner, where he's going to be speaking from uh, when those results come in a little after 8 o'clock, uh, they're saying that uh, they, they were disappointed by those results in the presidential race, and they feel like he is the only candidate who uh, diagnoses uh, the, uh, the, the problems well uh, that, that France has. And uh, to hint at what they're talking about, that uh, meeting is uh, taking place in front of a restaurant called Chez Nous, our place, because his platform is, of course, that he is uh, speaking about France for the French and things like this. Some people wondering why he is um, running all the way down here in the south of France uh, because uh, he, he's based up in Paris. Naturally, as he went around this morning, he spent his morning going around the various voting centres. But we know already that one vote that he won't be getting is for himself. He won't be doing the classic voting shot of him putting his own ballot in his own ballot box because he's not even registered here in the constituency where he's running. He's actually up in Paris. He's countered that, saying that uh, he spends his summers down here and this is like a second home for him. But the, the real reason, perhaps, is that uh, uh, in the uh, electoral pre presidential election, where he got just a smidge over 7 per cent, here he actually got 15 per cent. So uh, if, it's, it's a case of uh, uh, the, the song about New York slightly. If he can't make it here, he can't make it anywhere. All right, we'll see, we'll see if Saint-Tropez likes carpetbaggers in some 53 minutes' time. Thank you for that, Alexander Alcott. 